Social skills tip number seven. This is a fantastic drill that you can use to challenge yourself, challenge a friend, and it's even something you can do with a friend over Zoom, and you can challenge each other to see who can get the best score possible. Let's take a look. Before we jump into this week's drill and super fun challenge, have you had a chance to experiment with last week's drill? Have you played with which buttons you're able to successfully knock out of the 15 and figured out when you are better off to play it safe? Maybe we should have a tip just about how aggressively someone should play, like which is better, offense or defense. We call this week's drill, pull the button back. Now this is a drill that I learned from my good friend and doubles partner, Roy Campbell, but please don't tell him, it'll probably just go to his head. Anyway, the way this works is you take a single button and you're going to set it right on the quadrant line on the far side of the board, so it's half in the 10 and half in the five. I don't want you to get too uptight about this. I just mean you don't want it way back here or here or here, just roughly so it splits that T. That's your starting point. Now you're going to take a disc of the opposite color button and you're going to start shooting. And the goal is, the challenge is, how few of shots can you use to get from there back in to score yourself a 20? Now I'd also encourage you to do this from both sides of the board. As you get better at Crokinole and more strategy becomes involved, disc placement and control becomes so important where you leave the disc. And that is the great thing about this drill is it's gonna allow you to hone that skill. Now from past experience, when we did week number three, that drill, people had a lot of questions about the specifics of how the rules of that challenge worked. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna break this down and give you three variations of how you can challenge yourself with this same drill. We've got beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Let's have Variation number one, the beginner level. With each shot you take, you have to make contact with the button, but you don't have to get the off. You absolutely can, but you don't have to. So as you're shooting, you're just going to continue taking more and more shots until you manage to pull that button back into the 20 hole to end the drill. And if you miss completely, that just counts as a shot and you keep on going. Two, and we call this the intermediate level. With this one, with each shot you make, you must get the off. If at any point you touch the button but you don't get the off, it counts as two shots, but you still continue with the drill. The exception with this, with needing to get the off, is on your last shot, you are allowed to go for what we call a touch 20. That's when you just touch the opponent's disc and drop in, but you don't get the off. Either way, you continue until you drop that 20 and you've won the drill. Variation number three, and we'll call this the expert level. It is exactly the same as the intermediate level with one exception. When you go for that final 20, you are not allowed to get a touch 20. You have to get the off. And there's no playing the sacrifice, like I'll take my one shot penalty to get that touch 20. If you get a touch 20 on that final shot, it counts as two strokes and you have to pull your button out and continue the drill until you finish it expertly. Well there you go, a fantastic drill to help you sharpen your skills with the greatest game on earth. Go ahead and challenge yourself, challenge a friend over Zoom or some for form of video chat. Go ahead and challenge me. Seriously, somebody please challenge me. I miss competitive crokinole so much. Happy flicking, go ahead, drop a comment down below and let us know what is the best score you can manage to pull off. Other than a little bit of puberty struck in the middle there, that was good. Oh, oh. <laughs> Have fun yet? <clears throat> nope, do it over. Oh, sound of the moose. There's some water on the floor. Oh, good.